Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Karis and I make crochet amigurumi plushies. This is going to be an action packed market prep video. There is like three weeks worth of content in this video. I made about $4,000 of inventory for this market, which is the most I've ever made for a market before. So get ready for a ton of market prep starting now. Today is Sunday, February 25th, and I have kind of been slacking a little bit. Me and my fiance both have been struggling with a cold for like the last week and a half, which sucks because it's just like, it's one of those things that just is not getting better no matter how much time passes. So hopefully it's gonna get better here in the next week or so, but I have not had very much motivation to do anything with not feeling so good, but I'm still trying to get some stuff done. And yesterday, usually I get a lot done for my crochet stuff on Saturdays, but yesterday I spent the entire day making garden beds for my garden outside. And I also laid out some landscaping fabric and stuff to prepare my backyard for putting the beds in. And that took quite a while. We had to go buy all of the materials and stuff for that, put those together. And then after that, I helped my dad work on the side of his house, get his paneling replaced. So I didn't really do much in terms of crocheting and I got so tired. My body was so mad at me for doing all of that physical activity. So I'm even more tired today on top of the cold and doing all of that stuff yesterday. So my motivation levels are pretty low but I still need to get some stuff done. So I guess today this is gonna be more of a how to stay motivated when you are not motivated. <laughs> Cause that does happen. It's a reality that happens. Sometimes you watch these videos on YouTube and you just, you love how everybody is just so always on top of things and they're always getting things done and they never seem to hit any walls. And you're just like, how? <laughs> But the reality is that you hit walls often and just a lot of times people don't record them. Here is one of those videos to show you that it is okay to hit a wall and it's okay to climb over it and keep going. <laughs> so in the last three weeks, the last video that I recorded, I showed you guys a massive list of things that I needed to make which ended up being like 294 items that I needed to make for my next craft fair that's coming up on the 23rd of March. So for the last three weeks, I have been chipping away at that list. I don't know how many plushies I have right now, but I have two massive boxes over here that have a bunch of plushies in them. I thought I could show you guys everything that I've done so far off of that list and just kind of take inventory of my progress and how much more I need to get done. <laughs> so we switched locations to the living room. I took my glasses off because the glare is just no bueno. So I have this box, oh goodness, overflowing with items. So we are gonna go through this box and see just how many things I made in the last three weeks. Oh my goodness, you guys, I have so many more items than I thought that I had made. <laughs> so I tried to organize them in piles so that they were grouped up, but I also tried to keep them in camera. So they're a bit close together, but we have nine gummy bears that we made. These are the mini octos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said that there were 51 mini octos here? <laughs> I literally just counted and it doesn't look like there's that many here. I mean, it does look like a massive pile of mini octos, but like 50? Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> That's so many octos. So I also have two little chicks on swings that I made. We've got a tower of big bees. We've got six big bees here. And then we've got mini bees. We've got 10 mini bees made. 10 little mini mushroom boys that we made. Um, a giant pile of triceratops. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, fourteen, twenty. So we've got mini mushroom boys trying to invade the triceratops. Oh, what did I say? Oh no. 
So we've got 20 little mini Triceratops. We've got seven chubby little dinos in various colors. I also made another Sleepy Time Baby Bear, which is my pattern, but I made this one in lavender purple because I thought it looked really cute. <laughs> It's so adorable. <laughs> and then I made one fluffy cow. This one I freehanded. I don't have a pattern for this. I just kind of like crocheted and wung it because it's fluffy yarn and it's so hard to see the stitches. <laughs> and last but not least, we have this giant mountain of mini mushroom boys that I need to count. So we have 42 little mini mushroom poppets. So this is the haul of things that I have made in the last three weeks. I'm going to add the quantity of everything together and then also what the potential revenue would be for it and get back to you. So I calculated everything out and I made 146 items. Future Caros here. I have absolutely no idea how I got to 146 when it is clearly 159. So ignore that. And the total of all of those items was $1,696. 148 items for the last three weeks, which means 21 days. Well, technically I didn't really make a whole bunch of stuff on the weekend, so this was pretty much everything that I made at work, <laughs> which is crazy, I know, but I have a lot of downtime, so there's just so much time to crochet. In the last 15 days, I made 148 items, which is pretty good. However, if I do recall, like I said, I think my final number of all of the things that I needed to make was like 296 <laughs> items. We definitely still have plenty more to go. However, I do still need to work on my works in progress and get those done. And I have my giant elephant that I showed you guys last time that I'm pretty much almost done with and I'm pretty close to having him finish. I also have a few more items that I had made and I recorded a video to add to this video showing you guys those items that I made because this was before I started working on the 196 items or 160 whatever the items I just showed you before I started working on those three weeks ago I also finished a few more jumbo patterns and different patterns that I've never tried before and I recorded a video showing you that and I don't know what I did with that video so I'm gonna redo it <laughs> So the first thing I finished was another dragon, another blue dragon. I honestly don't remember if I showed you guys this. These last few weeks have been a blur, so if I showed you this again, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I have this one and the pink one, which the pink one might be the one that I finished. And I, I don't know, you guys, being sick is weird. I My brain never wants to work properly, so yeah. <laughs> I finished this one. <laughs> Don't judge me if you've seen it before already. I'm sorry. <laughs> I also made the turtle pattern by Crochet by Jenna. I put up a picture not too long ago when I was doing my little yarn haul of the Sweet Snuggles light yarn that I got and that I wanted to try the turtle pattern that she put out. And that is so cute. He's so adorable with his little, oh goodness, with his little bow on the back is super cute. I love purple. Purple is my favorite color, if you haven't noticed already. <laughs> so I really like this color. I like him in purple. This is such an adorable little pattern, you guys. It was so easy to follow. So definitely check that out. And then the last new thing that I made was this tiger. <laughs> um, what, How can I put this? I like the pattern. There's nothing wrong with the pattern. I think my yarn choice was much different than the one that she used. With the weight yarn that she used, it was a lot, it was a smaller weight yarn than what I used. And I think this is one of those patterns when you scale up that it just doesn't look the same being bigger than it does when it's in its smaller original form. So I, I like it. I, I'm not in love with it. It's, it's adorable. It took me a forever an unreasonable amount of time to be honest I think it took me like four hours to get this done and there was a lot of details that had to be put on like his little stripes and stuff too so I like the pattern he is cute I think if I was going to do it again I would probably do it with the yarn that she used in her pattern now on to the jumbo elephant okay so here is the jumbo elephant and I'm having issues with the ears because the ears are extraordinarily heavy 
And in the pattern that I was following, it does not have any real instructions on where or how to attach the ears. So I'm having a trouble with them because they're very big and heavy and floppy. So I'm trying to figure out how to get them to fit on there properly because right now he just kind of looks like a big old mess. And then I also have his little legs and his arms that need to be attached. So I think that's what I'm gonna do to finish up this work in progress and finally get him out of my living room. All right, I finally finished. Not really sure how I feel about it. Her head is just way too heavy, so it just keeps flopping about. I think perhaps I might just come up with my own jumbo elephant at some point in time. But yeah, here's the finished little jumbo elephant. I just recorded like 10 minutes of video and forgot to turn on the power button to my new microphone that I got so that my audio sounds better. So the entire video that I recorded has no audio. <laughs> All right, take two. <laughs> it is currently Sunday, March 3rd, and I wanted to show you guys everything that I was able to make this week. I made, whoop, I made three chubby dinos, two blue with pink spikes and one pink with blue spikes. I literally thought I was done with this video, so I kind of put everything back in the big box that I keep all of my completed polishes in. So kind of don't remember all of the things that I made because now they're just in that giant pile. <laughs> I made three of four of these that I can tell. I think I made five or six of them actually, but I I can't find them anymore. <laughs> I know I only made one of the purple ones. I made like nine gummy bears, but there's so many of them, I can't hold them. And I also don't want to pick them up out of the box again because <laughs> I did it the first time and it was a mess. <laughs> but I made like nine gummy bears, eight blue mushroom poppets. Again, there's so many of them, it's hard to hold them all. I made a bunch of little chicks on swings, these little guys. I love these guys so much. I have one currently like in my car mirror. I just love it so much. It's so adorable. But these little chicks on swing car things, I made like seven of them, but I only have five here because two of them sold on my Etsy already. So there's like five of them here, but I made seven. <laughs> I also made another jumbo jellyfish from my pattern so that I could take some pictures of him and get him posted on my Etsy. I just love his little curly cues, you guys. They're just so much fun. He's such a big boy. And he's so soft because I'm using the Sweet Suggle yarn for this. It's so soft, you guys. And I also made another Jumbo Dino. I made this one in green and blue. And I did this for the same reason for the Jumbo Jellyfish. I needed to take some pictures to make a written pattern on Etsy because I know sometimes people really like having just like the pattern with all the pictures and stuff so they don't have to keep watching a video. But I do have a free tutorial on him on my YouTube. And you can find that right up here if you want to take a look at that. He's so big and chunky. <laughs> this is the last one. I made another of my Sleepy Time Baby Bears. This is my pattern. Again, you can find this on Etsy if you want to make your own. But I made this one in lavender purple because one, purple is my favorite color. And two, I want to make him in some more colors so that I can take some pretty pictures and do some cool shorts and YouTube reels and stuff for that. So this is the last thing that I made. <laughs> I'm also working on a top because I want like an actual nice top that I can wear to craft markets and not a summer top that you wear to the beach. <laughs> I want a more more fully covered top that looks nice that I made myself. So I started working on this on Friday and oh my goodness you guys look at how cute it is. I am so excited about this. So it's going to have the sleeves that you have when you when you make those gonna have those webbed sweet those webbed sleeves that you see when you just do like the top is only sleeves when it has that like blocking I can't think of words right now but you know what I mean okay <laughs> um we in fact did not know what you were talking about but the word you were looking for was bolero 
So it's going to have those sleeves with it. It's going to be a little bit longer because this is just too short for me right now. So I'm super excited about this though. If you want the pattern, it is called like the Maribella V2 pattern or something, but it's on YouTube. There's a free tutorial that I'm following. You can check that out in the description if you want to. If you want to make your own top, it is so cute, you guys. I am so excited about this, but I'm waiting on more yarn because I'm definitely going to run out of yarn to finish this, but I'm so excited. So hopefully we'll have that done before the craft fair in March, at the end of March. So we have the rest of the month to hopefully finish that top. It's currently Saturday, March 9th. I have a craft market coming up in exactly two weeks, but I have tons of things I still need to get done. It's been helpful at work because I can make some plushies while I'm at work. So I get a decent amount of inventory made while I'm at work, which is really nice. So Monday through Friday, I don't have to worry about making inventory. Saturday and Sunday are the only days though that I get to really focus on stuff that I need to do here. First on the list is to pack some orders because I have a few orders I need to pack and send out to the post office. And then after that, I have plenty of market prepping that I need to get done. I have made so many new plushies, which you guys will see later, that need tagged because they are individual plushies. So they have individual tags because I don't have a bunch of them to make a sign that says how much they are. They're all just unique plushies. So I need to tag those individually with their prices. I also need to go on to Square and update my inventory so that I have those available for when people are ready to purchase. I just click on the listing and it adds the price and they can pay with their credit card and it just makes this whole thing so much easier. But I definitely need to get that done so that we can do that at the craft market. I also have tons and tons of inventory, especially the, the small inventory of like gummy bears, mini octos, mini mushroom poppets, and a lot of those things need keychains. <laughs> and putting keychains on 100 plus mini plushies is going to be quite the struggle for me. <laughs> it's gonna take forever and my hands are gonna kill me. <laughs> but that's definitely something that needs to get done. So I think I'm gonna start doing some of them today and just do a little bit at a time so that I don't get overwhelmed and I get it done for the market. It's currently 11.30, I should have gotten started sooner, but when I woke up, I made breakfast for me and my fiance and I did a little bit of cleaning because I cannot stand a messy kitchen or a messy house. It just drives me crazy. Even though, even though my craft room looks like a mess, <laughs> <laughs> but like everything else needs to be perfect. <laughs> I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started packing these orders so that we can get those out. As I said, please ignore the mess. <laughs> A lot of that is because I am continually starting and stopping projects and doing new things and needing new yarn and I just don't put it back and I need to. <laughs> so the first order that we have are two of these adorable little chicks on swings. I love these, you guys. And then the next order is for a yellow octo and a yellow gummy bear. And they did not want the keychain on either one of those. So that definitely saves us a little bit of time. Just got the orders done, so let's take them to the post office. So we just got back. Now I have all of this inventory that I want to put tags on and get organized for the craft market. This is definitely the most inventory I have ever had. Before I used to only have inventory that filled up this bucket. And now I have this box and this box and that box filled with plushies. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. I'm pretty proud of myself for making as much as I have made, but I definitely want to make so much more. I feel like even with all of this, I'm still not going to have enough. And I really want to try and make as much as I possibly can so that I can make the most profit as I possibly can at this market. Right now, what we're going to do though, is I want to go through all of this add some tags make note of how much stuff i have and inventory wise and then also get everything organized because i'm not entirely sure if four boxes are going to fit in the back of a car along with all of my other displays my tables everything else 
So I need to figure out how to condense this or make the most out of it so that it actually fits in the car when we take it to the market. So I've got everything I need to get started. I've got my pen, these little stitch markers that I use to attach my tags to, and more tags that I just printed that I need to cut out. So we're gonna do that first. So I just went through and I organized my mini plushies into piles so that I could count how many of each I had and the stuff that didn't need keychains I just put back into the plastic bin. So I went through and added all of the inventory together. Now pretty much everything that is on the floor right now needs keychains. And it's so much, you guys. Okay, so I wrote a whole sheet of pretty much every, all the inventory that I had and how much of that inventory that I had so I could see the total of what everything is worth. And I have 56 of the mini octos, 51 of the mini gummy bears, 64 mushroom poppins. I also have 14 mini bees and 35 <laughs> triceratops. It's safe to say that I definitely was not lazy and I have put all of my time into market prepping, all of my spare time. I have tons and tons of inventory. I added everything together. So with all of the jumbo plushies, the new plushies, everything else, our total inventory is at $3,845. You guys, I have never had that much inventory. The most I've ever had at one point, which also included butterfly tops, that are like $35 a top was $2,000. Like almost $2,000. It was like $1,900 or something like that. That's the most I've ever had. And that's with about 15 butterfly tops. So most, I have never made this much inventory, you guys. I'm so excited about this. I really, really hope that this is going to be a good market. <laughs>
So I just finished doing all of the keychains that I could do for now. I did all of the gummy bears and all of the mini bees, which was about 35 to 40 plushies. <laughs> That's a lot. My hand hurts. <laughs> but some of the gummy bears that I had out of the 51 had keychains on them. I think about 10 of them did. And about two or three of the mini bees already had keychains. So I didn't have to do the full amount of the quantity that I had. But I still did like 35 or 40 of them, and that was a lot. And I still have all of the mushroom poppets, which there's 64 there. So all of the mushroom poppets I still have to do. And quite a few of the, the mini octos. So with these, I don't put keychains on all of them. I just like to do a few because a lot of the times, it's usually turns out to be like 50-50 if somebody wants just the plushie or if somebody wants the plushie with a keychain. So I try not to put keychains on all of them because sometimes with the Octos, people like them without the keychain. So I don't have to do the entire quantity of those, but I do have to do all of those, which is a lot. <laughs> Probably throughout this week, I'll still keep trying to work on them and get them done. Now, I think I want to just relax. I will probably get dinner started soon and I want to make a few more turtles. <laughs> I've been getting addicted to this pattern that I found. It is a one hour turtle and the way that you put on the head and the fins is so much different. You don't have to sew it. It's a no sew pattern and I just absolutely love it. I will link the pattern to the turtles in the description box if you want to check it out for yourself. I adore it. It is amazing. I've made two turtles right now but I want to make more. I really I like this pattern. <laughs> So <laughs> it's the next day. I did not actually end up making any turtles that night, but this is the turtle pattern I was talking about. These turtles are super adorable. They're so fast to make and you don't sew on any of the parts. You just crochet them into place. And I just absolutely love that because part of the reasons why I don't do a lot of turtles is because they take forever. <laughs> But this one, definitely worth it. Like, so worth it. I think I've made like nine or ten of these already. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see how they do in the market. I will also attach a video of pretty much everything that I made. My floor was covered. But I'm so excited and so happy for this market. So thank you so much for watching this video and coming along with me. If you want to see more of the market prep progress that I have been making for this market, definitely be sure to subscribe because there will be at least one more video before the actual market. And when the market happens, I plan to do a whole video on that as long as it's not too busy and I can still get some content recorded. And the whole video will just be dedicated to me being at this market and selling and everything that happens along with that. And then there will be another video after that one showing you guys just how much I made, what I sold, what my best sellers were, and all the other little details. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a little like down below so that YouTube knows that this is a good video and pushes it out to other people who want to see it and check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.